What is happening, y'all? Welcome back. So I'm gonna still use the bayonet. Uh, interestingly enough, like going through the weapons, bayonet just has that damage, man. There's the sunset sword. There's the queen slayer. The lost regular or lost bayonet, just doing better. Um, and uh, actually, I do. I will want to change this up probably because I'm gonna want my dark gift up higher. So this time we're gonna stick to the right and go through. And we'll see what else is in this place. So I feel like there's gotta be a, a connection somewhere, you know? Cause that, that two shot is about as strong as the bayonet is when I'm playing as Hunter. play as caster it's mainly about having a fat nuke on demand and then I need to find a melee weapon that's quick that I can work on and that might go somewhere oh well, let's maybe this leads to a mistle to this first ここなら戦闘になっても安心か。敵を見つけたいきなり突っ込むなよ。Here's the mistle. Vestige. I've not seen Atlas yet. I haven't tried out Assassin yet either. So that'll probably get tried out soon. Fire has been lit. Start to break your way. Is this like Dark Souls 3 where I need to light three of these things and then some shit happens? one thing I like, so Ranger, Ranger is really efficient at getting by, I feel like. Like just, you know, fighting, fighting content, and as it progresses, it just, you know, it can kill stuff, it's got the shotgun blast. But I feel like if my concern is like boss fights, I mean, perfect example is the butterfly, you know, we were struggling to beat the butterfly. Um, obviously understandably, given that we had no upgrades, and, uh, Caster just obliterated it. Literally just nuked its ass into oblivion, and I see something up there. I wonder if that's the mistle. This definitely burns through its, uh, Iker faster. So I need to work in, uh, Attacks like that a lot more. I remember back in the, the beta test, the one that like was an open beta that everyone could play. Caster was like the only thing I came close to to beating the super boss with. I think one thing that might be good to do as well is kind of pick a weapon and then after I know what weapon I'm really vibing with, pick a class that plays around that weapon. And I gotta say, to my surprise, uh, the bayonet is actually... I'm digging it. The bayonet's pretty awesome. That's where the chest was. The other zone. Oh, second. Is 
再生力きついんじゃないかいいやするなよよし、ここから泉の流れをたどる。少し待っていてくれ。えっと、どういうことだ旧市街地に戻れということだろう。何か見落としがあったのかもしれない。Okay. とにかく、一旦旧市街地に。Oh. Oh, it's white food. On the story, the kids are eager to go. She shall not go to the what does she that the tear on a man was stuck nine. What on us could get to you, what does the clear? Yeah, that we did. Also, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. ニアから離れろニコラどうして出てきたのよだってニアが<笑>暴走しかけてる血流を狙ったのはその子のためかこの子に手を出したら心臓をえぐり取るわよほら受け取れそいつのためだ早く飲ませてやれよダメだよこれはミアが飲まないとバカなこと言わないでほら早く飲んでそれで、ジュースパックス症状が回復しないなぜだ足りないのよきっと。血類を集めないとおいお前一人じゃ無理だありがとうでも大丈夫だからさあ行こうなあ悪いんだけどよああ分かっているおぞおいファンミアおぞんらんしゅうぜんしゅうかいかそのこと。The other assassin vestige. It's the other Atlas vestige. See, the thing is, I haven't found. So we're finding a lot of Assassin, and we're finding a lot of Atlas, which means somewhere down in this muck, there is an Atlas blood cloak. I'd imagine, at least. So. Yeah, take a path that I haven't yet.
Oh, hell yes. I will say I was really liking the whole uh, Berserker smash move, but the problem is for you to hit something with that, it needs to be basically not moving at all. This should reveal the map, so I'll know where I haven't explored. So I've gone back there previously. So this is a pretty big area, but it, it's semi-enclosed. Um, I think I know where to find the thing I'm looking for. I think part of the reason I'm liking both this class and uh, Ranger so much is like when I was playing as Zerker, you know, it was it was pretty fucking dull. Like literally, all I did as Zerk was just smack my hammer until something was dead, and it was effective. But you now I feel like part of this game, like the. Let's be honest, the combat in this game is nowhere close to, like, a top-tier Souls. Like, it's, it's, it's not even on par with Dark Souls. It's, it's almost spammy, which is to be expected. I mean, the same people that make, um, God Eater made this. You can tell there was a hell of a lot more God Eater inspiration than there was Souls-like inspiration. But to that extent, I think big part of what will make this enjoyable is playing a class that's all about gift usage. And Berserker is basically the polar opposite of that. Berserker is all about me just, you know, strength smash. Not to mention mobility seems super important because blocking, at least the couple times I did block, didn't feel like it did fuck up. Seek. Damn it! It's the vestige part C. <laughs> this is some shit, man. I found three different uh, memory related codes to the Atlas vestige, but I haven't found the actual Atlas blood code itself. Looking at the map, I mean, I feel like I've scoured pretty much everything here, 
I can see the various mistles that I've hit. There's a couple small areas I haven't been. It's just it's shit like this, like in like you know, just little thin pathways. Hey, guy. Why don't you go ahead and just tell me where I can find the thing I'm looking for? I'll also say, now that I'm working drain attacks into my combat on a regular basis, um, I don't feel like I'm suffering on uh, my blood powers nearly as much. Like, I, I feel like I... God, you can hit right bumper and uh, button to do like a variant of your attack. I mean, fuck, I don't know what to do here. Take a look at this. So, went up, to, I got the mistle that revealed all the way on the left. I got the mistle that revealed all the way on the right. I got the two other mistle type things that rested got the chest I mean looking at that I mean my little dots go all over the goddamn map um it's like one little area that looks like it could explore more Nothing else, man. I'm getting fucked out of this place. I really, I do like that Caster has long range. I mean, the Bayonet is certainly better with the, the other class, but I have long range covered a lot more effectively as Caster. Uh... It's 
the original in this dude. What about right through the middle here? Oh shit, I, I guess let's go follow Mia because I have scoured every inch of this place and I got nothing. Wherever the the yeah, Atlas blood coat is. Hey, maybe it's the area up ahead. Maybe I'm, that's what I'm supposed to do is go through all this and then uh, when I'm following her, I stumble onto it. Is this the right way to get up there? Yeah, it is. God, I hate swamps. All the things you could have borrowed from souls, you had to borrow the fucking shitty swamp region that slows down your movement speed. Ah, here we go. I mean, I'm fine with leveling up, though. That's, I'm okay with uh, just boosting my levels up. Uh, so let me. Before I try out Assassin, I want to go back and fuck with this a little bit more. That's the problem. Even... Oh, no, hang on. That's because of my, my thing. That's why I'm slow. Um... Ah. Yeah, because that's the thing. Even... I can't deal with fat rolls. Thrust. It's got a golf swing, dude. Shit. Well, let's try out Assassin. Optimal for melee combat. Gifts that are great for surprise attacks. Let's see what Assassin has to offer real fast, and we'll we work with that in the next episode. Hunter. Zerker was Oliver. Unknown, unknown, unknown. Kevin. Who the fuck is Kevin? I mean, that's the edgy guy that was chasing the human. Uh, so what do we have? Reduce the amount of sound you create, making it more difficult to be detected. Fast short-range charge. One-handed sword, halberd, or bayonet. Increased damage dealt by a special drain performed after a parry. <sighs> Um, that's a passive. I'll I'll put that on everything. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Um, stun effect. Works from the enemy's physical defenses. Do stamina consumption. Scatters Iker in the area. Creates a trap that stuns assailants. Increase you and your partner's attack. The effect ends when you take damage. Shadow assault. Fired assassin vestige core. That'll unlock that other stuff. Let's do that. So I'm gonna play as Assassin. I still want health boost. Still want stamina boost. Sharpen fangs sounds good. And then uh, drain. Uh, this Night Stalker sounds like an odd thing, but uh, let's put on Shadow Assault weapons. Gifts cannot be used with this. It's fine. Out of assaults the assassin thing, right? Short range charge. And then uh, something in case I gotta pull. Sonic arrow costs one. Um. Sunset sword is outperforming the Queen Slayer blade. Is ridiculous. 
This is considered slow. Slayer's slow. That's slow. Fuck. Uh, maybe I'm gonna be using a bayonet then, because bayonet is more damage and it's fast. I mean, I'm not. I don't want anything that's slow. Has like fast rolls. Has a fair amount of health. So I guess we st we can stealth up and maybe get uh, backstabs easier or something. I don't know. I was hoping this would be a good class to use sword with, but maybe there's a different thing that will give me better mobility. Yes, yeah, so if I do the night claw, I lose a pinch of damage, but I gain quick and normal. Quick as this dash thing. That. Alright, well, we'll try out Assassin in the next part as we chase on after Mia. Um, I mean, there's still. Well, you know what? I think this should be. This is the easy way to figure out where I should be. Uh, if I go to teleport... Okay, so Poisonous Butterfly Nest is actually before all of this. So, instead... Well, no, I'm only at 66%, so there's one more area here. Um, I think next episode we'll continue on past the Butterfly Nest. And then I'll go after Mia, just because it shows all this shit right here. So I feel like that's a good way to figure out where I'm supposed to be level wise. So anyway, stay tuned. More Code Vein will be coming your way and I'll see you guys then as we try out Assassin.